What's going on, YouTube? This is Jim Fanis, aka Viper Magic, and I am a Nintendo addict. Now, you probably could tell by all the posters I have on the wall behind me, and if that doesn't give it away, you could probably tell my, by my Nintendo Rehabilitation Clinic shirt. But I gotta tell you, I just spent three hours standing in line at GameStop. What did I stand in line for? Amiibos. Now I got the old Super Smash Brother ones. I got other Super Smash Brother ones. I got the new Mario ones. I got the rare, like limited edition ones from Walmart or from uh, Best Buy. You see that? No reflection. Or hold on, I got one more. Toys R Us. I got a whole damn stack of these things sitting behind me on my bookshelf, on my game case. I'm going to build a display for these things, and tomorrow morning, I'm going to get up early on my day off, and I'm going to be sitting in front of my computer waiting for freaking Toys R Us to open up online so I can try to get some more of these things for my wife, and uh, if that don't work, I'll go stand outside the store. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't even, I mean, I have some of them that I haven't even opened yet. That's how excited I am about these things. I don't play with them on Smash. I use them for, I tried one actually. I made a little Pikachu, I named him Little Zeus. And my idea was to see if I can force him to only use the thunder attack. So I just sat there for about three hours, yes, three hours. And I spammed thunder over and over and over and over to see if he would learn it. And he did do it more often than not, but because the Amiibos have a uh, pre-built skill set in Smash, that wasn't the only thing he could do. At one point, I was trying to make one of them a pacifist just by like taking objects and throwing them off the map to see if like he would like try to, no, 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 don't fight, but uh, that didn't work either. So uh, yeah, so I don't use them for that. Uh, we played the Mario Party 10 game, and you have to use the, the new amiibos, the, the new uh, like the new ones with the, the gold base, or the silver checkered base, rather, as opposed to the Smash Brother gold base. Um, I had to use, we bought those to play Mario Party 10, and it wasn't even that fun. I mean, the mini games are great. The mini games are awesome, but touching your freaking amiibo every time you want to spin the block, and every time you want to lock in a game, and then it got really boring. It wasn't fun at all. I use them mostly for uh, Hyrule Warriors. Um, I like to log in and get the daily mission, or not the daily mission, the daily items. Uh, Nintendo Direct last night, they mentioned that you could actually start scanning them into Sp uh, Splatoon for um, daily missions, which was cool. So I pre-ordered those today too. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I mean, uh, I like the way they look. I, I guess what it is for me, if I had to put my head, my like wrap my little pea brain around it, I like collectibles of characters that I grew up with. I think that's probably the most realistic answer I can give. Um, like, I grew up playing F-Zero. I love the hell out of F-Zero. And I don't really say that, like, Captain Falcon was my favorite guy, because he's not. And um, But it's just cool to have a figurine. It's like my childhood in a little, you know, a little morsel, maybe. I don't know. That's probably the best thing I could come up with. Um, obviously, I have a game room dedicated to all things gaming. You see the Nintendo posters behind me. I'll do, a, like, a nice tour. I'm still working on it. You can see some gear stuff over my shoulder. But, um... Yeah, my idea is to build a nice big display case and show all these things off, but why I wait so long? And I get pissed when I wait in line, but I'm not one of those guys that's mean. I don't say, like, this sucks. You can't believe you sold out. I mean, I waited in line, and uh, I didn't even get to check out yet. I was, like, 16th in line, and they already sold out of a couple of them, and I was like, what? And people on Reddit, and I'm going on Reddit Amiibo, and I'm checking freaking people's Twitters all the time to see what's coming up. And uh, I'm like real anxious to try to get these. My wife's got this nowinstock.com website set up to her phone. She's using my Twitter to log into all these like Amiibo, like uh, following all these Amiibo tracker sites. It's crazy. Um, Nintendo does a great job, I gotta say this, of really understanding the concept of supply and demand because the uh, these things are so hard to find. Now you get the rare, you get like, they call them like unicorn status, which are like the super rare ones, like the, uh, the villager, uh, this guy right here. He's he's definitely, um, you know, rare status, uh, unicorn status. He's hard to find. 
Uh, we actually bought a European version of him. I had to pay all this crazy shipping to get this thing over just to get this little figurine to complete the set. And um, then you got like really common ones like Yoshi or uh, like Toad or something. And then you got the store exclusives like Rosalina or uh, now the new one, the new exclusives right now are Ness and uh, Granado, Greninja. I don't know. See, again, how much I care. <laughs> but I like collecting them. It's fun. Um, my favorite one by far has got to be Little Mac. I think he's just so cool. I'm a huge, huge, huge uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out guy. So Little Mac is like, ah, uh, and I love, I love his theme song. So to have him in a uh, little figurine of him is neat because you know there's a lot of Nintendo collectibles that are like Mario and like the core characters. I know they have the little wind up, um, the little wind up toys for like Mario Kart. But it's all the standard characters. It's the Marios, the Luigi's, the Yoshi's, the Peaches, Bowser's. So it's neat to see like a Wario figurine or it's neat to see a Star Fox figurine. I think if those were more commonplace, maybe I wouldn't care so much about the Amiibo aspect of it. But because that they're there and they're in the Smash Brothers game and you can see their visual you know, avatar, their, their, you know, their digital avatar, on the game and then you get the game and the mold is exactly what it is in the game minus the uh plastic or whatever and some of the pieces to hold them up you know um it, it's just kind of neat and uh it's a fun collection it's a fun thing to collect but boy it, it's really stressful i mean i you know after work today i went over i went to, went, went to gamestop i spent like it's all this time there my you know i was I stand in there waiting for the register to open we're going to try all these other tricks tomorrow and over the next couple weeks pre-ordering i traded some guy i met some guy on uh the amiibo there's a facebook amiibo page i met some dude nice cool nice really really nice guy this guy jose really nice guy i met him over in a parking lot and we did like a swap he gave me uh i traded him in case you're wondering i bought two meta knights uh i bought two of these and i traded him for uh, lucario so, um, yeah, this is a real thing. And it's, it, it's fascinating to me, you know, more, more social experiment than the button on Reddit. It's that these Amiibos are, you know, coming out. And I, I watched the Nintendo Direct. I did my video on Nintendo Direct the other night. And I was talking about how cool uh, that was. And uh, they kind of teased that something was going to come out. And then somebody leaked it on Reddit that GameStop was going to be uh, offering these exclusives in only, only in store tomorrow. So then later on, GameStop confirmed it. And then people are running around. And it's like a madhouse. So you got me. Uh, I, they got me hooked, though. I'll tell you that. Uh, they got me on why the hell am I doing this. And they got me like, I cannot wait to get more of these things. Um, they announced the Wooly Yoshi Amiibos, which look amazing. I'll never play with them. I'll just collect them and look at them. They'll probably collect dust, and maybe they'll be long forgotten, or maybe they'll be, I don't know. I don't expect to be a millionaire off these. I know some of them are selling for, you know, 50, 65 bucks. I don't care about that. Um, but I'm really curious as to why everybody else collects them. Um, when I asked my wife about it when I was getting ready to do this video, she said, because they're neat and because I have to have them. <laughs> I don't know why that's a good answer, but it's as good as any other answer I've heard. Um, I can't really say people are battling each other out on Smash, and if they are the amiibo to amiibo battle, I haven't really seen that scene. I don't really follow Smash competitively though, so maybe that's like endgame stuff, but my understanding and my little experience with little Zeus is once that dude hit level 45, I couldn't beat him. So I can't imagine that like my little Zeus 45 could or couldn't beat your little Mac at 45 and does that even mean that i'm a better player than you because my amiibo beat your amiibo probably not um it's not that great of a coding in terms of they're gonna they're gonna completely memorize your move set and they do advertise on the back of the box that you know you can customize your gameplay and you know as you fight you're gonna teach him how to you know you're gonna he's gonna like learn your patterns and like i said with little zeus that didn't really work that great so as for now, they're just great collectibles. They're a lot of fun, and they're driving me absolutely mad. And I wish it would stop, but when they announced more Amiibos at Nintendo Direct last night, I got to admit, I squealed like a little bitch. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. Let me know what's your deal with the Amiibos. Are you into them like me? Are you just focusing on a few rare ones that you're really interested in? Or are you just going for the whole set just because you're going for the whole set? As always, do me a favor, comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think, and until next time, I and, uh, who? 
Okay, how about the villager? We said the villager, right? I and the villager will see you guys on the other side.